Hello, my lovelies. Okay, yes. I know. I haven't made a video in a while. I know there's not a whole lot of you to notice. But that's beside the point. Today, I have something very exciting for all of you beauty lovers out there. It's something I've never done before on this channel, and even though I am a makeup artist in the real world, I've never really been involved in the beauty community on YouTube. I'd like to be, but you know, again, beside the point. But today, I have come to join the party because today in the mail, I got some new lipsticks. This is Jeffree Star Cosmetics You Better Work Velour Liquid Lipstick Set. I literally got it in the mail about three seconds ago, and I literally threw them on my face, threw on some summer attire, and here we are. Quick little shout out to The Lost Boys Trading Co. for making these absolutely sick mermaid tees. I also have one of their Peter Pan jerseys and I'm in love with their stuff. I'll leave a link below if you like the shirt and want to get one. I think they come in like two or three different styles, so there's a little bit for everybody. They've got a ton of merchandise. Well, not a ton. They're still kind of new for a company. I think they've only been around for a year, but I am in love. Hashtag not spawn. But if they wanted to, I'd die. Now, back to the topic at hand. This is what the liquid lipstick bundle looks like. It's like a beautiful, like rose goldy. Ignore that smudge. It's like a very like rose goldy, metallic, pink chrome. Girl, I love, love, love this packaging. I'm literally obsessed with this packaging. Jeffrey, you seriously outdid yourself on this one. Like, you, you got me. Now when you open it up, you can see all the new liquid lipsticks in their pinky chrome packaging. You see Jeffrey's logo up here. There's eight liquid lipsticks in total in this collection, as well as five lip ammunitions, which are the normal lipsticks in the tubes, two highlighters, and I believe three velour liquid lip scrubs. I won't be reviewing the highlighters, the lip ammunitions, or the lip scrubs because I am a broco and had to set out my priorities. So I had to choose what I'd use the most, which are these bad boys. And because I am a lipstick fiend, the lipsticks won the trophy. This bundle retails for $105 US. Um, if you are interested in the lipstick vault with the lip ammunitions, it's, I believe, $195. Now his website does offer free shipping, which is fantastic. I would have gotten the lipstick vault, but I generally don't use lipstick tubes. I just find liquid lipsticks a lot easier to apply. Um, they last longer. I haven't tried any of the lip ammos yet. I'd like to, but this was a little bit more my style. So I decided to get this bad boy. As of right now, I believe both bundles are still available on his website, which is awesome. So, you know, some of you guys can still get a hold of them. And I believe everything in the collection as of right now, when I'm posting this video, is still available. So I will put links down below if you want to get any of them. So the first color I'll be reviewing is Butt Naked. Mm, scandalous. This is kind of like a, almost like a pinky sherbet color. With my lighting situation, it's impossible to see how pretty this color actually is. Um, but it has that, like... It's not as much of a pinky chrome on the actual um, lipsticks, which, that's fine. It doesn't matter to me. So, but it does have, you know, his logo and the stars on it as normal. And for my mirror, I'm using my ice cold highlighter. Yes. Uh, I'm going to try this on. Now, for a little bit of reference, I have a lighter olive complexion. So, if that helps you at all in choosing which one of these lipsticks to try out, um, there you go. Now, when I first open it, it just smells like his normal lipstick formula. It doesn't have any, like, root beer, or I know some of them, some of them, some of them have, like, a root beer smell, um, but I have, I don't know if any of these are supposed to be scented, so you shall see me. Ooh. For 
formula seems nice. The doe foot isn't as carved out, which is interesting. Still seems to be applying okay. Not streaky from what I can see. So here is butt naked. I actually really like the color. I'm not a huge like actual nude person, but I'm kind of digging it. And just for reference guys, like my normal colors are like greens, purples, blues. Like I'm a crazy lipstick person, hence why I love Jeffree's brand. Like I wear Crocodile Tears from his last holiday collection on a regular basis. It seems to be drying down really nice. It's not streaky. I mean, just like a really nice, just like a really light nude would, obviously you really should exfoliate your lips beforehand because the lighter the color, the more it shows. Mm. This is really nice. I'm like really digging this. You go, Jeffrey. Yes. Ooh, you better work, girl. And here is what Butt Naked looks like. Swatched on the back of my hand. And I will be posting um, a picture of the swatches and such on my Instagram. So if you're interested, feel free to look over there. Just a little bit of shameless promo, you know. Next shade is Calabasas. Which, from what I'm seeing from the packaging, it is kind of like a, like, ooh, 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 hello. So it's kind of like a dark, like, rosy pink color. It's absolutely stunning. I, you know, same, same chrome packaging. Gorgeous. Jeffrey, you're killing me. No smell to this one either. Just kind of like the normal lipstick formula smell. This one does remind me of Androgyny, but this one is a little bit more... A little bit more of a reddish pink, maybe? Like a reddish pink. Androgyny is more of like... it's. I think it's slightly darker, and it's a little bit more of like purpley undertone. That's what it looks like next to Butt Naked. Mm. Same. A fantastic formula, as always. Never disappointed. So this is Calabasas. I'm not a huge fan of pinks. Not gonna lie. Um, they're a little bit too girly for me. I like girly stuff, but honestly, like, this, I could do this. This is kind of like, um, like a vintage, like, reddish pink color. It looks a lot brighter on my webcam. But, this is stunning. Oh my god. I'm not a fan of pinks, but I will wear me out of this color. It's so pretty. <laughs> the next color is Venus Flytrap. This is one of the colors that I was really excited for. Being a makeup artist that likes crazy things, I don't always do crazy makeup on other people. But I do crazy makeup on myself a lot. This is what it looks like. It looks a little bit more minty green on camera, but it's like a true, like bright pastel y, um, a, like a bright pastel green. It is so pretty. I am honestly this, this one, and then there's a dark purple one, who's, I think it's called You Better Work. Uh, we'll get to that. but. The, those two are like the... Ah, I'm so excited. Mm. No smell to this one either. I'm surprised. The summer ones normally are the ones who have scents. Mm -hmm. This applies fantastic. Looks a little crazy, but hey, it's summer. What you gonna do? This one isn't as... Um, it's not as opaque as the others. So I'm gonna go in for a second dip. I think it's because of the color that it's not really spreading as well. I do like the color so far, but definitely doesn't go as far 
um, as the other ones. And this one is a little bit streaky. Come on, girl. You better work. Going in for another dip, girl. This is Venus Flytrap. I like it. Now, I think it's because it is like kind of more of like a white based lipstick. It is a little bit streaky. It's not as opaque. Um, I had to dip in a good number of ties times to get this nice and even. And even then, like I'm seeing a little bit of patchiness. It doesn't look like it on camera. But it is very, very pretty. I really do like this. This is one I could see um, using as like an eyeliner color. That would be really cool. Um, and I think in the actual campaign, they did use it as an eyeliner color. I'll put a picture right here. Mm. Yes. But I really do like this color. It's really unique. Um, it's really interesting. Like, I have green lipsticks, but I don't have anything remotely similar to this. So I'm like really excited about this. Dries down a little chalky. Not gonna lie. I would probably say, put one full layer on, let it dry, then put another layer. Then you should be good. But yeah, a little chalky, a little patchy, but it's okay. I don't mind it. And the next color we have is Family Jewels. And from the looks of the tag, it looks almost like a brown. Not very summery, but okay. Okay, so it's like, kind of like a pinky brown color. Doesn't smell like anything, really. Okay, so this like, it's like a chocolatey brown. It, oh my god, it looks like I have a hamburger on my hand right now. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a nice like brown, brownie pink. It looks a little bit more pink in the tube. Um, but when it's on your hand, it's kind of like a true, like, um, cool brown color. I'm like, okay. Okay. Okay, Jeffrey, I see you. This one spreads really, really well. I'm really happy with how this one is spreading. So this is Family Jewels. Mm. I really like this color. I wouldn't really consider this, like, a summer shade. This seems more like a fall shade to me. It is more of like a pinky brown. Or, no, like more of like an orangey brown. It's it's not as dark as say like Unicorn Blood is or um, Coco by, by Cosmetics. But it's, it's like a good shade. Like if you want a darker lip for something other than like fall and Halloween time, which you know I'm all about. This is a very nice color. I'm, I'm, ooh. Mm, this one's my favorite so far. <laughs> if that tells you anything about me, I love my dark lipsticks. Yeah, yeah, this is my favorite so far. <laughs> I don't want to take it off. <laughs> this is stunning. Jeffrey, why you gotta do this to me? Why? I'm already broke. The next color we have is Hunty. Hunty girl. It's kind of like a um like a mustardy color from what I'm seeing. This looks similar to butt naked. We'll do a little comparison. Okay, so this is butt naked. This is hunty. This one is more this is more of like a like a mustardy nude color. I like it so far. Doesn't have a smell again. Do a full dip into the pool. Let's try this. So this is Hunty. I like it. I I don't think I like it as much as Butt Naked. I think Butt Naked is a little bit more of a solid nude. This one, it's it's not bad. On camera, it looks a little worse than it is in person. Um, it's not a color that I normally wear. I don't hate it. I like it. I don't love it. It's still a great, great formula. It's not spotty. It's not chalky. Um, it's nice. Not something I normally wear, but I'm trying to branch out into nudes anyway, so. It'd be good for like, more of like a cool, natural look. The, this whole collection, from what I've seen, is very like, with the exception of Venus Flytrap and You Better Work. It's all like very wearable colors, which 
honestly I think is great. Because he has so many nudes in this collection, you are almost guaranteed to find one that fits your skin tone, which is amazing. So this next color is the one I literally bought this collection for, and that is You Better Work. I gotta say, I am a big fan of dark colors. I love purples, I love blues, and this is like a like royal purple. Girl, okay, look how freaking pretty this color is. Can we just like talk about it? Like, <sighs> if this were a man, I would marry it. I haven't even tried it on yet. I haven't even tried it on. It doesn't, you know, it has that normal liquid lipstick smell. This is it in comparison to all the other colors. It is right there. This is what dreams are made of. <sighs> this is stunning. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of. Look at this color. <laughs> this color. Uh, this entire collection was worth this one lipstick. I love all the other colors, but this lipstick... Mm. The amount of times I wish that I had a royal purple lipstick would be shocking to you. I love Family Jewels. <laughs> this is it. This is all worth it. Everything, every trial I've gone through in life, I have tons of Jeffree Star lipsticks. The more I buy, the more impressed I am, and honestly, th this is it. If you were to make one that would beat this lipstick, I would be shocked. This is absolutely stunning. Ah, mm. Now this is one of the metallic shades. This is called Flamboyant. From what I can see, ooh. ooh. Oh, I just got really excited. Okay, so this is, it looks similar to Jeffree's, um, watermelon soda color from last year's summer collection but it already has like you can kind of see those shimmers in it kind of my lighting is terrible if I continue these beauty videos Lord knows I'm gonna get better lighting that is what the color looks like freshly swatched this is so pretty oh I'm I'm like really excited <laughs> okay mm, hello okay this smells this, not like it smells, but it smells like something. It smells like sugar. I can't, I can't describe what this smells like. This smells so good. It smells like something from my childhood. So this is flamboyant. You know, I love the look of glossy lipsticks. This gives me the look of a glossy lipstick without it actually being glossy which is fantastic it's not like a hyper hyper metallic which I like um, it's a little bit more it's a little bit more wearable that hasn't fully dried down yet but this is really pretty again like don't really wear pinks I will wear this this is this is very summery I think this is probably this is probably the most summery color I've seen so far it's, it's just, it's so, it's so pretty. Also, ignore my terrible application. I'm starting to get lazy. <laughs> Overall, I really like this lipstick. And also, it doesn't feel as drying. It doesn't feel as drying as his other lipsticks. His don't normally feel like super, super drying. They definitely feel heavier compared to some other liquid lipsticks, but because they last so long, I really don't care. This feels a lot more like moisturizing. It's kind of throwing me off. I like it though, it's nice. <laughs> Mmm, flamboyant. What a color. And the last color in the collection is this one right here. It's the last of the metallics as well. It's called Candy Ass. Why, I don't know, but okay. For what I can see, this is similar to Calabasas. A little bit lighter, but again, it has that metallic sheen to it. Turn it off. Ooh. This one, you can even see on camera, it's like almost glittery oh I'm excited about this as I'm swatching it 
You can already see how metallic it is. You can see that shift to it. That is really pretty. It's a lot lighter than I thought it would be too. Oh, I wish I could show you this in better lighting. It is so pretty. Again, if you want better pictures of like swatches and what it looks like on my lips, I will have them on my Instagram. <gasps> and this has that same like sweet smell to it um, that Flamboyant did. Guys, this is literally absolutely stunning. You know what this reminds me of actually is the Stila liquid glitters. Um, this is it's exactly what it reminds me of. Goes on much better than flamboyant. So this is candy ass. It is like a glittery metallic Barbie pink. Oh my god. And I've said this a thousand times already but I don't wear pinks really. This is also kind of like a metallic nudie pink. I'm like, I'm sh I'm shook right now, honestly. <laughs> so pretty. I honestly am so shook with this color. Like, <laughs> you better work! My final thoughts on the Jeffree Star Chrome Velour Liquid Lip Summer Collection 2017 Oh my god. Every single color in here is amazing. You know, there's some that I won't wear as often. Sure. Like, who is going to wear a bright pastel green every day? So this is a stunning collection. I, I've never bought a full collection from Jeffree before. And from now on, honestly, I will. Like, this this has changed my life. Like, <gasps> ah! Jeffrey, why? I'm already broke. Why would you do this to me? And I know a lot of you have a lot of mixed reviews about him. But honestly, you cannot deny that he makes a great product. His lipsticks are out of this world. His highlights are freaking blinding. I mean, it, you, you can't deny that he makes incredible products. No no matter what y'all hoes say, I'm still gonna buy his products. And I'm gonna tell you, you need to buy it. Buy it. Buy his stuff, okay? My puppy came to say hello. Mia, say hi. Say hi. Mia, say hello. Hi. Oh, baby. Guys, look on my beauty blogger. I have a little dog and everything. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up. Comment your favorite shades down below. I'm interested to see what everyone else thinks. You know, have you tried it? Um, have you not? Do you want to? Do you want me to continue making beauty videos? Maybe? Maybe, maybe not? Don't forget to check out Jeffrey's channel. He's absolutely amazing. He gives great reviews. Everything from high-end brands to cheapy brands to everything in between. He's always honest, always gives a great review, always gives a good show, which is amazing. If you want to check out his products, I'll leave a description down below, jeffreestarcosmetics.com. Don't forget to check out the Lost Boys Co. as well to get these awesome mermaid tees. They're so well made. Honestly, go check them out if you want some great summer apparel, especially if you're into Disney stuff. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. And if you really want to see my content, you can hit that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. See you next time, my lovelies. Bye!